tips, tricks, hacks, I don't care what you call them. In my shop, they make my life easier, so I'm all about it. I'm gonna share 10 of my favorite shop hacks with you right now. So my back is still a mess. I found out I have a large herniation at the L5-S1. I don't know what that means, but it hurts. So I thought in order to bring some value to you guys, I would share my shop hacks with you. Now I have a ton of these, but we're gonna start with 10 of them for the day. I think that should be enough. Uh, there's not gonna be a lot of fancy editing. There's not gonna be a lot of that. Actually, I'm even gonna take my apron off because it's just too hot in my shop right now. Oh uh, wait, I'm, a, I'm attached to my microphone. Uh, there we go. So. Ow. Uh, let's, let's get to it. Shop hack number one. Really, really easy. Boom. Dry erase markers. Dry erase markers. I don't know if you can see those. Best things ever. I use them all the time, all around the shop, taking notes, uh, making measurements, figuring out what I want to show you guys. And kind of my favorite part is that when you're writing on paper, you have to go find an eraser and it takes time to do that. And it's a little bit of time, but it's a little bit of time every time there's a mistake. With this, psh, wipe your hand, done, gone, keep going. Uh, it doesn't really interrupt the flow of thought, which is awesome. Shop hack number two is really, really simple as well, but if you haven't thought of it, it's gonna be a little bit like, oh my God, a depth gauge for your drill bits. Now, if you need to go part way through a piece of wood and you don't know how far you have to stop, you use a piece of tape really easy. Check it out. The next shop tip actually deals with gluing wood together. Most of the time when you go to glue two pieces of wood together and you put the glue in the center, they slide when you try to clamp them. Really, really, really easy fix for that, but we got to go to the kitchen first. Hugs. The answer is hugs. No, it's not. Just take that guy. Salt. Yes, regular, stupid, iodized table salt. Using it makes just enough friction between the two pieces of the wood and the glue that it doesn't go anywhere. The next shop hack was taught to me a long time ago by my father. So long ago, I can't even remember the first time I used this. And that is simply when you open a new can of paint, before you go to use it, take either a nail or an awl, or in this case, I'm gonna use a nail set, go around the perimeter of the can and add some holes. That way, when you go to use the paint and you clean off your brush on the side of the paint can, that paint goes back into the can as opposed to rolling down the side or collecting around the rim keeping your project nice and neat. So now that I opened that specific can of paint, my uh, lab, my workshop, whatever you want to call it, actually reeks right now of paint. So I'm going to do a shop hack I wasn't planning on doing. Totally free of charge, here's your bonus tip. And I can't take credit for this one. This one I actually got from, I think, Bob Vila from This Old House, or no, it wasn't him. One of the guys from This Old House from their uh, awesome YouTube channel, which if, again, if you don't know about, you should totally check out. Lots of awesome stuff on there. Um, this is a ventilation hack, I guess you'd call it. Really simple to do. Um, I don't know how it's gonna come out on film because I have to film at the window with the light outside being very bright today, uh, but we'll see. First, measure the distance across your window frame and then find a piece of wood that matches that dimension. You're then gonna hold it up, open the window, and mark exactly where that open window space is on that piece of wood. Grab two screw hooks and put them into the wood in that open window space that you've marked out. You're then gonna take the measurements between those two screw hooks and transcribe that onto a box fan. Screw out those two holes, affix the piece of wood to the window frame. You know what? This might be a bad idea leaning over a table with a back injury. <laughs> and that face told me that this video wouldn't be up on time this week. But let's continue. Sometime later. Then all you gotta do is hang the fan from those hooks, plug it in, and bada boom, ventilation. Often when you're hanging something on the wall, you need a free hand to hold whatever it is that you're putting up. So instead of having all the screws in your hands, you can put a magnet on your drill to hold all of those screws for you, and it works great. Now number six deals with my favorite workshop duo, and that is CA glue and Activator, also known as Crazy Glue and the stuff that makes it stick really fast. 
Whenever you're using wood glue in the shop and you're putting two pieces of wood together, but you don't want to wait to have to clamp and let it dry, you can use CA glue and activator to temporarily hold the wood together, giving the wood glue time to dry, but allowing you to get on with your project. In order to get perfect 90 degree holes into a piece of wood, most people use a drill press. But if you don't have one, there's a great shop hack that can show you how to drill directly straight into a piece of wood. The first thing you do is take a right angle straight edge or a square and draw a 90 degree line to the side of a piece of wood. Then using that line that you've drawn to calibrate one direction and the wood itself to calibrate the other direction, as long as you keep them in line with both of those, you'll get a straight hole every time. Number eight is a really simple hack that I have used a ton. Remember that time that I was working with filters in my workshop and they exploded? Yeah, I'm still cleaning that up and that's where I found this one. It sounds a little nuts, but just take a cup, drill a hole in the top just large enough for a straw and insert a straw. Then all you need to do is take it, put it on the top of your vacuum hose, turn on your vacuum and now you can get into tight spaces real easy. This is a penny. It's three quarters of an inch in diameter. And this is an even smaller nail. Now, while most of us don't use nails this small, the principle of what I'm gonna show you works the same way. There is no way I can drive this nail into a piece of wood while holding it in my fingers without smashing my hand. Now, if I take a pair of pliers and I hold this, I can put it into the wood without any issue at all. The last of the tips, tricks, and hacks I'd love to share with you today starts by driving two screws into the back of your workshop door, then taking two magnets, putting them on a bottle opener, and putting that on the back of your door as well. So what's the point of this hack? Really easy. When you're done with all this work, it's time for soda. And you'll always know where your bottle opener is to open one. Do they even make soda in glass containers? In no? Well, whatever. We'll see you guys next time, Wednesday, 4 o'clock. If you love this one, click subscribe and make sure to smash that little bell icon. That'll attach you to me, and anytime I upload something new to the internet, you will be made notified immediately. Take care.